if you want to go back and understand why we're having these conversations about reparations, why the racial wealth gap exists, you can do no better than looking back at Lowes County. We have to continue to tell the story of how we got to where we are today. All right, just a taste right there, a look at Lowndes County and the road to black power. If you'd like to see the full thing, the Freedom Center has a special screening of it. It's happening tonight, and it's all part of the OTR International Film Festival. It's a big deal this weekend, and we're so glad to have Asia Harris here from the Freedom Center joining us in the studio. Good to have you this morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Thank you. I'm doing well. Glad to have you here. Now, we just saw a little bit of that film, but can you tell us a little more about it? Because uh, this film is getting a lot of talk, and I think it's uh, an award winner, right? Absolutely. So it has gone to Tribeca to screen. Wow. So we are really lucky that we'll be able to see it here in Cincinnati. And it's going to be screening tonight. Um, and it's going to talk about Londis, Alabama. So the struggle for voting rights that took place there, the students from the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee who did a lot of work to really make sure that people could take advantage of their rights to democracy. Is there, a, we've seen a lot and heard a lot about this recently. What are we going to learn in this film that we haven't already heard? Because there's a lot of new uh, archival footage mm -hmm. that's not been seen and also first person accounts. I mean, this is not too far back in history. Absolutely. I think it's just important to make sure that we look at these figures who are really entering, you know, the latter parts of their lives. So we want to be able to take a special, you know, observation of the fact that they are still living and we can see their stories while they're still here. And now, while they're living, we can ask them questions about this film. We can ask them questions about their experience and really monitor that, you know, so that we can look to that as an example of how to do the same thing. Absolutely. Now, so this is one of the award-winning films uh, of the OTR Film Festival. Uh, which award did it win? And it's kind of a big deal for a film to be shown at Tribeca, right? That's one of the sort of bellwethers in the film industry, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Tribeca is a major film festival, and it is a major award to win that. So here in Cincinnati, they win the Freedom Film Award. So that is with the OTR Film Festival, and it highlights a film that impacts social justice and talks about how it makes movements for um, future generations. That's awesome. Now, the screening is uh, 6 o'clock tonight. It's at the Freedom Center. What do you have to do to get tickets, and where can we get them? Yes, you can get tickets online at OTR Film Fest, and then you will get a description of of different options that you can get. So you can get a ticket just for our screening or you can get a day pass or a weekend pass that will allow you to get tickets for all of the events within the festival this weekend. And that's happening the entire weekend? Yes, yes. And, and you guys, and you're only showing the film tonight at the Freedom Center? Sorry to cut you off. Yes, no, that's all right. Exclusively at the Freedom Center. So if you want to yes. see it, that is how you get to view it. So no other locations, I mean, you guys said you're sort of a sub-location mm -hmm. of everything that's happening with OTR. Yeah. Um, you only have the one film at the Freedom Center, though, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Everything else is kind of dispersed throughout the city this weekend. Asia, great to have you on. And again, we can go to what website to find more for ticket information? Uh, FreedomCenter.org or OTR Film Fest. Awesome. Great to have you on. Thank All right, you. we got.